Hi guys, welcome to another Ants video. So today, we'll be doing another brief update on many of the colonies in my ant room. Um, and some, I don't think I'll be taking out any queens. But yeah, maybe I'll show you a couple queens as well. But yeah, mostly the work, the um, the colonies with workers. And I also do have some sad news, but some ex like very sad news in this video. So, but um, I also have some exciting news at the very end um, that I will feature in the, the next video. So yeah. Anyway, um, so we're, we're just gonna start out. I I I'm mainly doing an update video because the the like report that's super sad you'll figure it out um would be I, I i it would just literally be like a one minute thing saying like like whatever's happened so yeah i'm i'm just gonna fold that time by doing an update on some of my other colonies um so yeah so let's just start out with probably my biggest um colony with workers in the ant room which is the dark warriors my colony of aphinogaster ossied and talisans they've been um just like i found out they're semi-nomadic this species which means they move around a lot so that explains why they keep moving from test tube to test tube um because they they like to move around they like to change nests all that and just like see what's the right humidity and um like of the day and the heat and all that by the way let's just check the heat really quick i have this like little reptile heat thermometer here so um sometimes i just power it up here and then i put this little um like sensor inside just really quickly so i can get the reading of the temperature let's see what it is okay 77.2 as you can see which yeah that's that's about average for the amber but um these species like it a little bit cooler they like it like 70 to 75 they 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 don't like much heat this species but it's not gonna harm them if like it's only like a couple um degrees over their preferred temperature because that's just their preferred temperature um 70 to 75 and not like their like desperate temperature that if they don't get um like exactly under that they won't survive you know so yeah that's just their preferred they'll grow faster if that way this aphinogaster i should tell us call me but yeah let's grab my macro lens and see if we can peek into the colony okay guys so this is one of their test tubes that they're currently like camped out at. And there's some queens in here. A lot of the queens are in here, I think. You know what, there's only three. I counted seven queens actually. I thought it was like at least 10. But yeah, there's only about seven. What is that? What is that piece of thing? Hold on, let me just like check with the real eyes. Oh wow, so this actually, I didn't know this. So this is um, a big project update, I guess. There's actually like, I guess this test tube like overflew into here and then it got like it got all wet right there which explains why they're like not up against the cotton it's kind of moldy I should change it um so yeah once they're like totally like out of this thing I will change this because I don't want to have to like pull them out and all that but um yeah and they they end up putting some dirt on the moisture, which is pretty smart by them so they don't drown or anything. But yeah, we should change that. Um, and oh, I think that ant was actually drinking from because I think it's sugar water. But yeah, that test tube, I'm gonna leave this open so they move out and then we can change it. But um, this test tube is a little scratched up um, just from like doing this multiple times with this red phone. So, uh, maybe we can get a little better view over here. Um, oh, this is all cloudy. Like, I always, sometimes it's hard to get the right view. I wonder if there's any in here. 
And, oh yes, there is, okay. I can get a great view right here, if I just go in for a second. The audio might be a little distorted for a second. Sorry, it's really blurry too. I take this off for a second. Um, but the audio will be a little distorted for a second because I'm gonna put um, the phone inside the cage to record. So it might be a little echoey or something. So yeah, let's just put this micro lens back on here. And then, okay, here we go. That's a better look. But there's like a bunch of, again, there's like a bunch of workers outside like protecting our view but yeah there's one of the queens and there's some eggs over there i i have gotten better shots of them but yeah i might put in a little clip of like a better shot um i probably will so yeah i'm just gonna put in a clip of like a better shot there oh look at that there's a male no way okay that's pretty cool there's a male in there so Oh my gosh, to producing reproductives. Okay. Well, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> I didn't know that either. I'm glad I'm doing this update video. But, yeah, I'll show you guys some better quality footage um, right now. Oh, and guys, before I show you, I noticed another male. So, yeah, that's kind of concerning because they're about to have no nuptial flight, I guess. But, yeah, that's kind of concerning because then it's like hard to control them like flying out and stuff but i'll probably just leave it open and leave the window open or something so they the males can fly out and mate because they are native to here so yeah i'm sure they'll find some mates um but anyway i don't even know if i need the high quality video here you know what i'm i'm just gonna show you this because this is pretty high quality what do you guys think but um yeah, they got a bunch of pupae, as you can see here. Um, but, yeah. Actually, I keep switching my mind. I'm just going to show you guys the high-quality video right now. So, yeah. Um, it's much better. So hopefully you enjoyed that high quality video um, because it, it's it's much, much better than what I'm filming right now. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. But yeah, anyway, um, that's your update on the dog warriors. Two big things is this water over here in the test tube that they covered up. And they are starting to have males. So that's kind of exciting, kind of concerning. I mean, it's not concerning for the colonies, Jake, but it's kind of hard to, like, um, like I said, to manage them on the nuptial flights. Um, but, yeah, I might just keep them in here. I don't know. We'll see um, in a future video, um, probably. But, anyway, um, they're not all the way moved out of this tube, so I think I'll just leave this light on. And then I'll just, like, let them move on their own. And then, yeah, it's, like, overflowing in there. Holy, okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to change that once they get out. Um, I might end up filming it, um, adding it to this video, but 
we'll see. Maybe I will at the end of the video. I doubt it though. But it's okay. Um. Anyway. Um. Now, here is a the second colony I will be showing you guys an update on. Um, is the um the colony of I don't know why it's a, <laughs> these are yet to be named actually, but I have I think um oh my gosh I'm sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna pause the video so I can actually open this drawer. I know it's super messy in here. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I got my duck over and caught me out of the enclosure. But, yeah, I think their name will be the Pinheads. That's my name for them. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. It's kind of like, I don't mean they're dumb. It's just like they're so tiny that it's kind of an appropriate name for them. And they think it's kind of cute. So, yeah, we're just gonna stay with that, but... The update on them is, um, they have much more boot protection, which is pretty cool. Maybe I can show that? I don't know. It's kind of hard to show. It's like underneath, you can see some eggs. Um, but yeah, I'll just, I'll just play a video really quick again, um, of, because I actually caught the queen. Um, I found out they don't have multiple queens. I'm so stupid. And they'll enter a video, like, the one I, where I told you about them. I said that they had multiple queens, but this species does not have multiple queens, so they don't have multiple queens. So, <laughs> yeah, they only have one um, winged queen, but so I'll just put the video up now. You can hardly see her, though, because she's, like, very, um, like, faint because I just caught her. It's very, very um, faint, but I did do, draw, like, a circle. So, yeah, I'll show you guys that video now. Okay, Hi guys, so unfortunately I wasn't you able to get the video in, the sorry, um, I'll post another wings, video on my channel just so showing you that stuff. video, so just a so separate video, um, we'll show you guys but, that. Yeah, anyway, um, he, another update on them that's pretty cool is that they do have, like, a little bubble here, see that, and this is the sugar water tube, so that tells me that they've been drinking sugar water because... When I put this in here, it only had, like, I don't really remember, but I don't think it had any bu bubble. I might, like, look back on the footage. But I don't think it had any bubble in there, um, which means they drunk it. Or, like, it had definitely a smaller bubble than that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and I also noticed some little mites on top of the sugar water tube. I don't know why they're hanging out there, but it's probably because I can just see them better. Um, but they're super tiny. I mean, they won't harm the ants because I believe these are indeed, um, um, the kind that don't harm them. They're just, like, scavenger mites, kind of. Um, so yeah, they, they won't harm, um, anybody here. But they're super tiny, so I don't think I'll be, I'm gonna be able to get them on video. Even with my macro lens, I don't even have it right now, but... Yeah, anyway, um, they do have some mites in here, which is kind of cool because that means they're cleaning up after the ants as well. They're kind of like springtails, um, but if you see any, like, red mites in your ants' enclosures, like, those are most likely parasitic, and you should, like, do something right away to get them out of there. Because they're not fun. It's not fun if you have mites in your colony and they attach to your ants because, yeah, that's just gonna go bad pretty quick. But, yeah, anyway, um... I did when I got them out. It's kind of a tight fit to get them out. So I kind of jostled them. And they're all like moving out now. I feel kind of bad. They're all like swarming at the top right there. But yeah, I hope the queen wasn't injured in that. That that was like a total mistake that just happened. But I'm sure she's fine. Don't worry, guys. Um, It'll be okay. But yeah, those are the two colonies I will be doing an update on. Um, Just a couple of them. And this... These guys got their official name, the Pinheads, okay? So, hopefully you guys um, enjoy that name. But, yeah, let me put the lid back on. By the way, the setup, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, is just like a Tupperware container, like a large one. But, I like a modified one because on the lid, I just cut some holes in the top and I put some, um, like, little cotton balls so they can breathe. 
Um, and they can't get out. I and I think they could get out because they're so tiny. Out of like because there's like little gaps under here. Um, let me see if I can show it. Uh, I don't think I can, but yeah. Anyway, there is little gaps under there that they probably could get out of. But I did put some olive oil around the sides so that they would like slip down and they wouldn't be able to get past the barrier. And it's been working pretty well. I've had like like no escapes from what i see so yeah it's working very well i it, it's working well for me sometimes it doesn't work well sometimes it does um olive oil it's it's like one of the easiest things but it's not always that like great of a barrier but yeah it works it worked for me so yeah i'm probably just gonna use that from now on um back to my messy drawer i don't know this stuff is like packed at the top I'm gonna put some stuff in here so that like these are like cotton balls and stuff right away but so that like I can take the pinheads out easier because they their enclosure sits right here so it's kind of hard to like lift it but yeah next time when I take them out I'll be sure to like move some stuff because I kind of dressed them but yeah most of their nest is still intact so it's fine it's it's not a big deal, don't worry. I just want to try to not hit them. I'm going to put them back. I'm going to pause the video so I can do it with both hands. Okay, so, yeah, I realize this is, video is going much longer than I expected. But, um, yeah, here comes the sad news. I mean, let's just get right to it. Um, The Jet Black Emperors, this has to do with them. I came on as Pencil Vanicus called me, and yeah. Let's just get straight to it. The queen died. I know it's sad. I mean, I am I I'm I'm really sad about it because that means, of course, the queen died. So the jet black emperor workers will eventually die as well. Yeah, and you'll notice like right away that if you're like watched the jet black emperors before, I mean they were my favorite colony. So it sucks, and they were growing so well. Like they they have five workers now. Last time you guys saw them, they had two. So yeah i mean they don't have any more egg production but these workers would just live live out their life i did take out the dead queen so she wouldn't like mold or decay or anything um and so yeah she is gone but yeah that's sad sometimes queens i mean you gotta accept it as part of bank keeping sometimes they just die on you for no reason and that's actually why um a lot of colonies produce so many queens on their nuptial flights. So yeah, that's the update for the Jet Black Emperors. Yeah, they will die off pretty soon. Um, but remember how I said I did have a surprise at the end of the video? Well, here it comes. With the die off of the Jet Black Emperors, I have another surprise for you guys that will be amazing. So. After the Jet Black Emperor's disappearance, I have de decided to replace them with not one, not two, but three different other colonies. And guys, are you ready to meet them? <laughs> 